Okay, how to, Jonna? You might have missed it. I always, um, I always think, what Kali Yuga? The instructions for how to do Jonna and stuff are right on the Wikipedia page. But, but then, I whenever I actually go to to uh, the Wikipedia pages, I'm like, oh, cause this is all like a bunch of fights and stuff, according to this person. But this person was like, no way, your idea about John is wrong. And I think that do, 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 do. It's, there's a whole thing and there's a, this whole section here called like the Jonna Wars, which I mean, if we if if we were to go through the details of what these people are saying, is this not the page that has the Jonna Wars? But it, if you, if we went through the details of of what these people are saying about it, um. There's various, it, it, like, like, uh, they're just seeing the elephant from different sides mostly. And there's, uh, there's nothing really to, uh, there's nothing really to, oh, geez, incorrect. Um, oh, you wouldn't want to have strong straits of concentration. Um, and, but, uh, <laughs> so, um, so, oh no, Buddha Gosa made up words. I'm, I'm trying to remember what he meant by Parakama Samadhi. I mean, it's just a word he made up, so it's not, there's not that many references to it. So far. I think that might just mean like, um, like, like normal, normal amount of attention, like going back and forth between perceiving the senses and the thing. Is that what it means? Just like normal? He did make up words, but that would, that, that's, you're allowed to do that. I think you're allowed to make up words. So, um, 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 this is like, what are Vitaka and Vitara really, and people are like arguing about it, and people, people get very upset about the, um, like people take, like these, these things, like when it says con contract sensory desire, all right, like people, some people are like, you didn't have a ton of, because you still have sensory desire, which is like, all right, that's, that's not what it means, All right? Good on you getting over sensory desire. That's just this is this is very practical instructions. Okay, if you missed the instructions for Jana, you might be like, wait, wait, what do you do to enter Jana? Like you do whatever the concentration think you're trying to do. Like you're trying to to pay attention to your breath or whatever. But like, what? How do you enter Jana? How do you do it? What is it? This is the this is the instructions. Um, you might have missed it because it's super simple. <laughs> This is the instructions for fall. It's it's as easy as falling off a log. So this is instructions for falling off a log, and it's stuff like, do not hold on to log. Okay, so it's it's really simple. It's really mundane, and each of the, the each of these things is um, the the thing that they counteract. It's it's very it's very practical what they are, and how they and the thing that they counteract is just like because. It is, it is that way, right? Okay, and like this says doubt. Okay, the 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 vichara, <laughs> the vichara, the the keeping your your attention on the thing, right? Sustaining the sustaining the the concentration that counteracts doubt and uncertainty. And I'm sure there's cults out there that have taken that translation and fed like, see, you're not allowed to doubt. And if you're in such a cult. You leave. That is not what them. You can doubt right now. You go ahead and doubt. You doubt what I'm saying. Do it. <laughs> doubt lots of stuff. Doubt is is not. This is not like like you might be like sensory desire might sound like this is stuff you shouldn't do in general. But like uh, but no, this is not like doubt is is not, it's not that you shouldn't doubt in general, right? Like it's great if you don't have ill will in general. But that's not what this is saying. <laughs> okay, this is practical stuff. All right, this is this is the instructions for Jonah. This is what you do. Okay, you do you you have to do all five of these things, and they're all um they're no you're not really like five different things, right? Like some people are like, is it two two things, vitaka and vichara, or is it one thing, vitaka vichara? It um it, it doesn't it's 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 one thing, and this is and we can discuss different aspects of it, but it's all you have to do it all. This all has to be all one thing together in order to work. And this is just describing the different aspects of what we're going to do, which is such a simple thing that, but we're going to, even though it's so simple, because 
because things are confusing these days, we're going to go through this in detail of what we're going to do, which is we're going to, in order to be doing your concentration, you got to start doing it. You got to do it. You got to like, there's that, you know, there's a moment of you do it. You start it, you, and it, calling it a thought. Sure. It's a thought. It's your thinking. Let's go. We're going to start starting right now. Bam. This is it that's you know so you got to start which which is the opposite of sloth or torpor lethargy drowsiness you know like if you're asleep you're not doing it <laughs> or if you're just you're just so out of it that you're like oh yeah, i was supposed to do it you didn't do it <laughs> or so if you just if you're if you don't if you're so uh tired or or confused or sleepy or just not there or, or you just don't do it then that's the opposite of doing it. I think of it. I think of it as placing a rock on it. You're going to put put a rock on another rock, and and keep the rock on top of the balanced on top of the other rock. Okay. So the the first thing you need gonna need to do is put it there. Ooh, you get a pretty picture. You get a pretty picture of doing. Ooh, is that someone? All right, that's someone. That's put someone putting his thought on something. You, <laughs> the the first thing you got to do is to is to do it at all if you've got to start doing it and that and the opposite of that is not doing it like being asleep or or not bothering to do it sloth you could you call that or torpor but just not doing it okay and then you might the um when later when there's it's like in the second jhana later and not now not at first not when you're doing first jhana don't do this. This is the opposite of what to do. Do not do this. Vitaka vichara falls away. You so it's like vitaka is putting the rock on top of the other rock, and then vichara is holding the rock on top of the other rock, making sure it doesn't fall over. All right. So you put your you put you you put attention on a thing, and you maintain attention on that thing, right? And then later after you have placed your attention on the thing and it is placed there then you cannot have to place your attention on it right this so this is <laughs> it's so basic that it's so basic that it's confused you're confused by all these like like pully words and stuff i enjoy the pully but it's not it's uh, it doesn't matter it's we're talking very basic stuff Right, he Pali was not a, like a special magic language. He, they, they, he, it was like a, it was, it's a cool language because it's like an average between the ways the different people, the normal ways people spoke around in, in those areas. It was like so. It was like an, a, a language everybody could understand. It was just a plain language and plain talk. And all we're saying here is, you put your thought on the thing, or if if you're too sleepy or something, you're not even going to be able to think of it. And then later on, not now, you might not have to put your attention onto the thing because it's already there. If your attention's already there and you're already undistracted, you don't need to put your attention on it anymore because you got it there. But supposing we're just starting out, supposing we're just like hanging out in normal thought, okay? You're gonna need to start to do it. That's all. You gotta start to do it. Now the next thing, put any cults you are in that are saying that doubt that does not mean that you are not allowed to doubt in general. You're allowed to doubt in general. Doubt is great. Doubt right now. Think does this make sense? Think about things and figure out whether they make sense. Doubt them. But uh, this is talking about this is talking about while doing it we're gonna do jhana we're gonna do it like 100 percent we're gonna that's what we're going to be doing is jhana right so you get your doubt out <laughs> before that you make a decision that we we definitely are gonna do jhana you know this for like not not for the rest of you know for like a minute or for 10 minutes we're gonna do it for a while and 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 that's we definitely are gonna that's all this means. That's all it means by the opposite of doubt. All right. Vichara, continuing to do it, continuing to hold your attention on it, hold your attention to it. Okay. There's effort is involved. 
effort. A lot of effort might be involved in getting started, getting your mind onto it, right? Because your mind might be, you know, stubborn, doing something else. Sleepy. You might need you might need a huge effort to get your mind like, hey, hey, might, hey, doing this thing. Wake up. And then, if you don't, if you don't hold it there, and if you're, if you, or if you, it's it, doubt will go against you being able to sustain. As in, if you start to think to yourself, should I be, should I be holding this here? Should I be holding my concentration here? Is that what I should do? I don't know. Is that right? And it's not. You don't even have to decide not to. As soon as you, 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 you've, you've gotten let to less than 100%, as soon as you're like, should I? Right? You're at like 90% doing it, 10%, eh? maybe I should be out of here. Right? So we're just trying to get to 100%. So no doubting right then. Just because we're going to put our, put our mind on it, put our mind on the thing. And then if you shut up, we get a pretty, we got the same pretty picture. It's a pretty picture though. I'm satisfied. We got a pretty picture. <laughs> we are going to put our mind on the thing and, and hold it there. Hold it there. Now, this is very important. Piti means knowing that this is going to be fun. <laughs> this is now you. Everyone's like, where are the Jana instructions? It said, it, it, <laughs> what the magical thing does PT mean? Here's, a, here's the best explanation I know of, of what the difference is between piti and sukha. If you want to know the difference, it doesn't matter. You can just think of it as piti sukha, feeling good, right? Uh, you're good, right? Piti sukha. You need, it, it needs to feel good. Got to feel good. If you want to dissect it into what's the difference between piti and sukha, um, imagine you're lost in the desert and you don't know if you're going to survive. But then, as you're walking along through the desert, you see some birds in the sky and then you start to see you start to see some clouds on the horizon and then you see other travelers coming and going and you realize i'm at an oasis i'm going to survive there's going to be water here and your <coughs> the experience of knowing i'm going to be okay feeling that you're going to feel good knowing that is pity and you don't you don't need to uh actually uh, uh, actually going, you, and then you actually go there. You go to the oasis, you get to the water, and you, dr you drink the water, and drinking the water, you experience sukha, ease, contentment, satisfaction. Um, and those are, those, are, those are just two different elements of pleasure. You, you have to have them both together, at least for, at least for piti to last very long. You have to have them together. You have to, the piti is the expectation that there will be the sukha. So it's, you, it, you, you're like, ah, oh, I'm going to feel good. And that's, so that's going to, you're smart. So if the sukha doesn't come, you can't fool yourself too many times that there's going to be, that there's going to be sukha. So the piti will not happen unless, unless you believe because it's true because we're you know we're, because we're gonna because just because we're having fun this is gonna be this is good this is fun to do i mean which is sort of um it can be embarrassing like people like there's other monks who are like i roll everywhere i go because walking would i've sacrificed walking oh well i've sacrificed even rolling and i live in a pit and then and then to be like okay well um i I like to just have fun. <laughs> it's sort of embarrassing, okay? But it this is the it works it work that you need you do need <laughs> you do need to have fun. It's like essential. Um and this ex this explains why it's essential. Ill will. Ill will. Ill will like thinking <laughs> thinking uh like PT feeling like think they th thinking phew this is gonna be awesome is the opposite of thinking this is gonna suck which drives your mind out of it your mind does not like to do things that are not fun it does not it's it's that's what fun means basically right like your mind it, things that your mind 
is attracted to. So this is, we're not, um, we're not like pounding the mind together with hammers, right? We are attracting it to an attraction, to an attractor that brings it to, together because, because it wants to come together because everything the mind says, what's this <laughs> party over here? Um, the PT, no one is going to be awesome counteracts any sort of like feeling like this is going to be bad. I don't, I don't want to do this. This will be bad. And the sukha, feeling good, the actually enjoying it, the sukha contradicts restlessness, worry, like uh, looking around for something else to do, right? Like restlessness, like you're actually like, oh, what the, <laughs> is anything else on? <laughs> like, this is not, can I do something else, please? Uh, or worry, is worrying just like, um, maybe this is not like like maybe you're not like looking around for other things but maybe it's like i don't know if this is the right thing to be doing because this i don't know <laughs> why am i doing this again so the opposite of of feeling like i would like to do something else please like either like you like like consciously feeling that or you're unconscious even if you try to consciously be like no i love this i love this if you're not really enjoying it your unconscious is going to be like, yeah, enjoying it also. Maybe we should something else, right? So, um, simple as that. You got to enjoy it, sukha, or you will try, you, you will be trying to find something else to do if you are not enjoying it. And then, ekagata, eka, one, ekagata, one pointedness which counteracts sensory desire. And this is not so we get the picture of the same guy. Oh, we don't even get the picture of the guy. Um, so ekhagartha means, uh, means uh, all, all together in one place, which is not, I mean, it doesn't, like some of the, uh, it doesn't, a lot of, like, like a lot of meditations people do mostly now do, uh, do put it in, do put a lot of attention, do point the attention at a place, but that's not really this. The, the ekagatha is, uh, is also, if you do a diffuse meditation, like an accepting anything in the whole field of experience sort of meditation, you, you still have this property, which is not, um, uh, like, like sensory desire is not, is not, it means like, um, wanting to get involved in the details of things. Right? Like, like things that, like wanting to experience them, wanting to like, be like, Ooh, what's this? And get into the, what's going on, wanting to, to spread your attention out and look around for things that are interesting and be like, Whoa. Hmm. And Ek got that is the opposite of that, which is your mind gathering together and saying, this is fun enough. We're having a lot of fun here and we're going, we're going to gather the mind all together on the thing. So, um, it's the main, there's, 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 uh, there's two, the two main mistakes here. I mean, it's, uh, it, the, the, the main mistakes you're making are you're not, you're not doing it. You're not trying. A lot of you, I, I, a lot of people out there trying to get jhana are also not trying. Then when they're doing practice, they're not trying. And people have told you not to try and they're so wrong. Um, you must, you must do it like at not, you, you don't have to, uh, in order it, it, once you balance the meditation, you can, you can, um, you like, you're kind of trying to skip ahead. Like once you balance, you do it, you hold it in place, you balance it. Right. And then you could let go of it. Right. And then see if, and you might be able to, to keep it steady without having to constantly like push against it and that's that's better if you're able to that's a good skill to be able to develop later first if you're not if you're having trouble if you want to just to uh, start doing some jhana first thing is to do it to do concentration to the moment that's a moment that's a momentary thing where you start to do it and then you have to continue to do it. And it's not like it might, it, it, it's not necessarily a lot of effort. It's more effort if there's more, 
to go against, right? Like if you're if you're very distracted, if you're sick, if things are difficult, it, then it might be harder. But it's not. Um, but it is. It it's always going to be some amount of effort at first to to get your mind to go together. You got to do it. The other problem is <laughs> too hard. Too, like you're you're all doing it. You're like rah, 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 rah. and there's no space to enjoy it. You must enjoy it because the it you are trying to do is enjoying. These are the five aspects of the thing is to to bring the mind together. Bring the mind together means um you can you, you got to speak to the parts of the mind that will listen and say, "Hey, <laughs> We're coming together, but not every part of your mind will will listen to. If you just put out a call, like this is super important. All right, <laughs> we're doing some Dhamma practice here. <laughs> and we got to come on, everybody. <laughs> right? Some parts of your mind are gonna listen to that. Other parts aren't. Some parts of your mind are waiting for the party. Okay. So the parts of your mind that are listening, <laughs> that are that hear key to call to it to when you say, "Hey, <laughs> we're doing this," say to those parts of your mind, "Hey." We're having a party. We're bringing the whole mind together. So that's why we're coming together in this way that's awesome and fun because we're going to have everyone in the mind is invited. So I know you're, I know you're the serious sober parts in the mind. You're going to bring everybody with you. Is that it's uh, I, I, we can, uh, I meant, uh, I thought of going through the rest of this page, but then when I said criticism, <laughs> um, but I, we could go through groundbreaking research on whether jhanas are necessary for liberation. I mean, it doesn't, it's very, uh, is a party in your mind necessary for liberation? I don't know. It's just, it's a, it's a way of gathering your mind, which is incredibly useful. You really need to get your mind, like, together in order to, that's what samadhi means, to get your mind together. You gotta get your mind together, ekagata, all doing a thing together, <laughs> just in order, that's, uh, just, you gotta do that if you wanna do that. You gotta gather your mind if you wanna have your mind gathered. You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta invite your mind all together if you wanna have the strength of a whole mind to apply to anything. Okay. I hope that helps. <laughs>